The other day I was telling a good friend about the John Hopkins University study that's now been taken down that clearly showed that 2020 total deaths was no different from the past years. Do the math. Get familiar with that. But my friend replied to me, people like to be lied to. You are now watching The Conservative Racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. Yesterday, I found out about a story so disturbing that I couldn't believe it was possible. And immediately, I went to go investigate. And I found the actual legislation that proved the story was real, I began to read the Senate bill on this uh, piece of legislation and I, I became sick. I, I became sick. I wanted to vomit and I, I couldn't read it anymore. If I said to you today that the 1973 ecological dystopian thriller known as Soylent Green would one day be reality? People would laugh. Yesterday, Washington became the first state to approve human composting as an alternative to burying or cremating human remains. Now, there's a company called Recompost that is doing this. Dan Roberts, I know you want to weigh in on this. Sure, this is nice. Help the environment. This is nice. Help the environment. This topic right here it doesn't matter what your religious belief is. It doesn't matter what your political affiliations are. You need to get familiar. I guess I believe that after death, it doesn't matter anyway. So let's help the environment. I had to stop right there and go and pray. And then I started thinking, well, I, I got to tell this. I got I to gotta share this. And the first person I, sh I shared it with a... a a family member said to me that they, they can't hear any more of these kind of stories. They can't take it anymore. They've heard enough. They can only deal with one day at a time, one day at a time, and they don't want to hear anymore. Uh, another person said, thank you. Uh, and another close friend told me when... I explained to him, I, I don't know if I should can do this anymore. Uh, people don't know, they don't want to know, and they don't care. And I don't know why I'm wasting my time trying to share these things. And I think I'm done with, with doing this. And uh, that, that friend told me that I can't stop. I have to keep on doing what I do. I have to keep on trying to share truth. Tonight, burials, cremations, and now a new alternative. It was the craziest idea I had ever heard. Human composting in Western Washington. This um, glass of soil used to be a cow, not a human, but um, it's the very same process. Cairo 7 goes in depth on this eco friendly ending. Recompose is scheduled to open in Soto in the spring of 2021. We have a ton of interest. It's really exciting. Spade came up with the idea more than seven years ago. Realizing livestock have been composted by farmers for years. She was looking for an alternative for humans, so she teamed up with the Wazoo Soil Science Department. They used the bodies of six human donors and proved it is safe and effective for humans as well. To everybody out there that thinks that they don't want to hear these stories, that they don't want to hear what's going on, and this is not going to go away because you don't want to deal with it, because you don't want to hear it, because you can't take hearing these truths anymore. They're not going to go away. You open your refrigerator and you see a little bit of mold and you say, well, it's just a little bit of mold. 
you know, I'm not going to clean it. I'm going to let it grow. I'm going to let it grow so big that now it infects all of the food in your refrigerator and becomes a project so, so out of control that you almost want to throw your refrigerator away and get a new one because you didn't want to deal with it. It was just too much for you. It's these things aren't going to go away because you don't like hearing about them or you don't want to deal with them. You know, your problem that you ignore today can be your death tomorrow. I'm just going to be blunt. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I mean, what what does Bill Gates not have his hands in? Computers, to jabs, to climate control, sun dimming. <laughs> not funny, really. To even our food and our agriculture. The guy owns all the farmland in the country, too. And he's very concerned about the fertilizer. And what a coincidence that he happens to provide the potatoes used for McDonald's fries. Now, we all know. how. Healthy- and let me also mention, anytime you see something big going on in society, in the news, in the world, in your community. Something that draws your attention and dominates the headlines. Just know that there's probably something else that's not drawing your attention that's slipping through the cracks while you're busy being distracted by the headlines. So this story, like I said, in Washington State. Uh, begins 2019, end of 2019, November, December. And uh, also the story was initially uh, brought to my attention by YouTuber, a call for an uprising. The FDA is just as bad as the CIA. But remember when I was talking about human compost, you might say call human compost, because this video is, I believe, removed from my removed channel, which got deleted. Human compost now legal in Washington. You might say human compost. Yeah. So they're taking bodies that have passed, deceased, and they're using it as fertilizer. That's right. Fertilizer. Human fertilizer. Because you want to eat something grown out of uh, your local plumber's, uh, you know, dead body. They love to grow tomatoes. Let's grow some, let's grow some basil. So, so wait, let me tell a story to help put my main story into context. Uh, to put it in perspective uh, and think about this for a second you are what you eat and I pretty much heard this my whole life and it's true so my mom told me a story about an apple say you pluck that apple from the tree she said the moment you pluck it from the tree it begins to deteriorate not immediately but over time you'll eventually see that apple will deteriorate and wither and and rotten. And the the tree provides a lifeline. Apple connected to the tree, tree connected to the roots, roots firmly rooted into the ground. Whatever's in that soil provides substance for the tree. Tree provides substance and nutrients for the apple. You eat the apple. Apple now provides substance, nutrients to you. You are what you eat. You know, and for me, to be honest, I'm not surprised that there are maniacs doing things like this, conspiring to create diabolical schemes like this against us. We're, you know, the Bible explains in end times, uh, we're going to see things like this. This is just the beginning, honestly. The problem is with us, with the people who don't want to hear about these things, who don't know about these things, don't want to know about these things, and think that if they just turn their head, bury their head in the sand, if they just forget about it, ignore that it exists, it's going to go away. They passed a piece of legislation that says that companies can now take human remains, turn it into compost. Soil and green is made out of people. Next thing, they'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You gotta tell them, Silent Green is people! 
So what's interesting is Washington is known for growing potatoes. Bill owns all this land in Washington. Yes, he owns a lot of land in Idaho and Nebraska. Washington has passed this, and other states are passing it, and it doesn't even need to be passed because they're doing this anyway without a law being passed. It's not like somebody's going and grabbing the fertilizer on someone's land and knows how to check it to see if it's human compost or not. Okay, they've been doing this, but they're just going to make it, you know, let you know that they're doing it because they know that nobody cares, so they don't even need to hide it, and they don't need to worry about anyone complaining about it. Because they go, it's eco-friendly. And these dummies who believe in all this stuff with the climate and think they're environmentalists, just like the person who told me they were striking my channel for saying I was going to throw uh, <laughs> something, I cracked a litter joke. Can't even crack a joke about that. These people are so sensitive. Meanwhile, they're just imbeciles. In reality, because they believe all this stuff about the climate. Meanwhile, it's like in the 60s on the East Coast all week. You know, yeah, oh boy, global warming. Oh, really hot. <laughs> I mean, anyone up in the uh, up in the East Coast seeing the sun lately? I don't think so. Nonetheless, the human compost here, the human compost, Bill Gates, Washington land, Idaho land, potatoes, potatoes sent to McDonald's. McDonald's, who's known for, well, putting certain things in the burgers. Coincidence? I think not. I think not. But these are things that are being normalized, right? The fact that Bill has his hand and this should make people like a little suspicious so let me tell you what ignore this video click it off right here if you want but the last time i looked humans eating humans that was called cannibalism so i'm gonna end this with a verse from ephesians uh and then i'm gonna wrap this up uh, my mic is smoking right now uh, no i mean literally my mic is smoking not sure what that's all about, but uh, listen, I, I've been telling people all my life. Pray over your food, pray over your food, people. I say a prayer over everything that goes into my mouth before I eat it. And I advise you all to start building a practice of praying over your food, because the next French fry you eat. Could be a French fry from potatoes grown in some human remain soil Ephesians 6:12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places God bless everyone thank you for listening like and subscribe comment Go back and watch my past videos. I mean, do it or don't. The choice is yours. Ignore it and be part of the problem or get familiar. Then you can be part of the solution. Praise God.